G'day guys, welcome to Rumble's Fish Room. So, I decided to pull my old camera out. The lens looks a bit dirty there. It's, de it's not, definitely not as nice as my new camera, newer camera, but I really like the stability on this camera. So, um, I'm low key, well not low key, I'm just gonna play between the two for a couple of weeks and then maybe get your opinion in like two weeks on which one you like better. Um, I am sacrificing video quality to use this camera, but the stability on it is way better. The other option is if I buy a gimbal for my other camera, but I don't know if a gimbal will really suit my style of what I'm doing in the videos because I'm so hands-on. But anyway, um, I'm looking for your, your opinion, guys. Drop a comment. Um, obviously, the only people I'm trying to please in these videos is the viewer, so the viewer gets the final say on what camera situation they like. Um, so today, um, we've got a goldfish with a swim bladder problem. It's swimming upside down. So I'm gonna give it an Epsom salt bath. Um, it's super simple. Most of you probably know how to do it, but I thought I'd bring it along with the ride, for the ride. Um, I was actually gonna clean the, fil the sponge filters in the fish room today. I don't really feel like dealing with um, bacteria in filters when I've got cuts on my hands. Um, cut free hands to clean filters in, um, is my rule really. Um, so let's have a look at what we're doing here. Alright, so um, I didn't bring the salt in because it's a big bag in the shed, but I've got uh, one and a half cups of um, Epsom salt in here. And basically, I need a hose. Oh, I don't have a hose down here. All right, I'll be back. All right, so I've put about three or four liters of water in the bucket. Just stir it up so all the salt dissolves. And still salt in the net there. Probably shouldn't do it with a net. I'm going to wreck the cor corners of the net by scraping it. All right, so now the beauty of this is the fish is, is easy to catch. Um, this one's actually, it's actually got a little ulcer on it that I was planning on cutting off. Stay upright, buddy. He's having a bad time. So for anybody who doesn't know the history of this, um, I've been salting the tank and he like, or oh, it's a she, I'm pretty sure. She like kind of comes good for a half an hour and then, or not half an hour, one day. And then the next day she's a bit rough again. So I think I just need a, like, like a stronger salt bath. Um, all right. So I'm going to leave her in there for 10 minutes and I'm going to, I'm like, I don't know. I want to cut that little wart off, but I don't think I'll do it today because we don't want to stress this fish out more than we need to. But we'll just leave it for 10 minutes. I don't know whether to try and hold it upright. I guess it doesn't really matter. You can, I've actually seen people squeeze them and get the air out, but I'm, I'm not willing to do that. So it's just a simple salt bath here. He's going to be a bit rough for a few hours, I reckon, in the tank, but we'll see. We'll give it time. He lost a bit of his slime coat as well. See how he goes. The main reason I've gone to such drastic measure this time is because, like, the last 48 hours, he got dramatically worse. So um, I didn't want to leave it and do nothing. So for anybody who's caught my live streams before, he used to... Oh, here we go. He used to only go upside down like every 10 minutes or so, but now he's sort of at the point where he's upside down most of the time. I hope I don't lose him. He's my biggest one. She. I keep saying he. And then what I'm actually going to do... Because... Um, all the goldfish won't mind a little bit of salt. 
So I'm literally just gonna pour all the salt into the tank. Um, goldfish love salt, so it doesn't matter. I mean, it, it does. It'll be good for the whole lot of them, is what I'm getting at. But anyway, that's about it for that. I'll I'll, I'll keep you guys updated on him. Um, I'm not worried that he's gonna die. I'm just worried that I won't be able to recover him. And if he if he's upside down for a couple of weeks, I I, rep, I think I'd probably rather put them put him down than leave let him struggle for the whole time. But we'll see what happens. The salt bath definitely should help. Um, I can try get some peas into him, but I don't know if he'll eat them. I've never. I've only got peas into flower horns before. I've never. Well, I've never had goldfish before, so this is like new territory. So I'm, I'm just using like um, methods that I used on cichlids on my goldfish. All right, guys, I'm going to wrap that one up there. Let me know what you think of the video. Let me know what you think of the camera. And I'll, I'll keep you posted in a few days on how the fish is going. Um, he should be all good. Uh, whether he does go up the right way or not is another story, but he'll be all good as far as um, he should keep alive at least. Um, so I'll let you know. Just keep tuned for that one. If you like this video, guys, give it a thumbs up, even though it is a bit of a sad one. Um, if you want to subscribe for more, hit the little red button just down there. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out.